Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, <coughs> the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, the Chief of Staff to the President, Professor Ibrahim Bank Gambari, His Excellency the Governor of Kebi State and Chair of the Food Security Council, Governor Atiku Bagudu. His Excellency and Governor of Jigawa State, Chairman of Presidential Fertilizer Initiative, Governor Bad Badaro. The Chairman Governors Forum and Governor Equity State, Governor Fayemi. Governor Ebony State, Dr. Umahi, Governor Cross River. Professor Ayade, Honorable Minister, all, all here are present, but let me recognize Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Otumbani Adebayo, Honorable Minister for Information and Culture, Alajilai Balugun, all that distinguished ladies and gentlemen here, but let me recognize the presence of Alaji Ali Kudangote, the richest black man on earth. Our royal fathers here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and my colleagues from the Central Bank of Nigeria, I salute you all. The president of Refund has expressed appreciation and has asked that we kindly request Mr. President to thank everybody here present. So I would not go there again. I just stand on what he has already expressed. My remarks this morning will focus on three main themes, namely, one, the outstanding results of President Muhammad Buhari's vision for food security. Two, the courage and persuasion of our smallholder farmers and three, the conviction that it, it is still possible to do great things in our country. It is therefore with immeasurable pride and boundless satisfaction that I welcome you to today's epoch-making event, which is the official unveiling of the single largest rice pyramid ever assembled in our history. I'm particularly delighted because these stacks of rice pyramids provide undisputable and unassailable evidence of significant progress under President Muhammad Buhari's food security initiatives and administration. We also recall that the Anchor Boras program was, on, was launched in the early days of this administration. It is therefore fitting that the unveiling of the largest rice pyramid in Africa is coming right within your tenure, Your Excellency, sir. I personally salute your vision of making agriculture a cornerstone and one of the focal points of your administration. Like the vision of great leaders that prepares countries for unforeseen, this vision prepared us for the unanticipated impact of COVID-19 on food production. I miss its associated disruptions in production and supply chains, which led to global increase in prices of most commodities, the resilience of our smallholder farmers all over the country, and interventions of the central CBN continue to ensure the production of the needed food stock of, of, for the population. Your Excellency, sir, permit me to commend the, our Nigerian smallholder farmers once again and the leadership of the various commodity associations for their diligence, for their bravery, patriotism, and adaptability. The past few years, Your Excellency, have been quite challenging for these people as they have battled with insurgency, banditry, lockdowns, and other related setbacks. Indeed, we lost some of our farmers to insurgency attacks nationwide whilst some could not access their farms for several months. Yet, they kept faith. They did not give up. They persevered. They did not abandon our fight for food self-sufficiency. 
Today's event, therefore, is a celebration of their doggedness and an appreciation of their commitment to food security in Nigeria. The Ancoboras program has catalyzed the rural economy and has built a sustainable framework for financing smallholder farmers in Nigeria. The program has developed an ecosystem among all nodes of the agricultural viral chain, and these linkages can be better optimized through synergy amongst all stakeholders. As at the end of December 2021, we have financed 4,489,786 smallholder farmers that cultivated 5,300,411 hectares of land across 21 commodities through 23 participating financial institutions all over the 36 states of the Federation and the FCT. We're delighted that these efforts are, have yielded fruit in not just increasing the availability of rice, but also in moderating prices, reducing imports, and increasing job creation in our country. For example, Thailand alone exported 1.3 million tons of rice to Nigeria in 2014. The Ankur program was launched by Your Excellency in Kebi in 2015 to curtail these imports, and since then, we have seen incremental reduction in rice imports from Thailand. By 2016, Your Excellency, rice imports from Thailand had fallen to just only 58,000 metric tons. As at the end of 2021, they only exported 2,160 metric tons of rice to Nigeria, thereby saving Nigeria foreign exchange and helping to preserve jobs for our people. Beyond increasing our national output for, from about 5.4 million metric tons in 2015 to over 9 million metric tons in 2021, we have also significantly improved the productivity per hectare of the smallholder farmers from just about 2, million, 2, mil, 2 metric tons per hectare in 2015 to over 6, 6 metric tons per hectare in 2021. These expansions have not only made Nigeria the largest food producer in Africa, but has also unlocked enormous private sector investments in the rice value chain as the number of integrated rice mills grew astronomically from six in 2015 to over 50 in 2021 and more are coming up, with many more in various stages of completion. Today, Your Excellency, Nigeria's milled rice matches the foreign rice in quality. Your Excellency, as part of this event, we will be requesting Your Excellency to kindly inspect some of the numerous Nigerian milled rice in the exhibition stands. Taking a cue from our success in rice value chain, we commenced the brand revolution last year as a mantra for the transformation of the wheat value chain in Nigeria. Wheat is the third most consumed grain in Nigeria after maize and rice. It is estimated that we only produce just about 1%, which is approximately 63,000 tons of wheat of the 5 million or 6 million tons of wheat consumed annually in Nigeria. This enormous demand supply gap is bridged by over $2, million, $2 billion annual importation of wheat, as it is thereby putting pressure on nation's foreign exchange reserves. We have concluded the first major wet season wheat farming in Plateau State and planted over 100,000 hectares of wheat across 15 states in 2021 dry season alone. This strategic intervention will herald progressive reduction in our wheat imports bills over the coming years. We also established a strategic maize reserve with the stock of maize submitted as loan repayment by our farmers. Well, here we're saying when we give you seeds, fertilizer, inputs, and all that, we cost it. When it's time to pay, we don't ask you to give us Naira. We collect the process. We collect the produce from you, and we sell ourselves. That by saving you the burden of going to the market to sell your, 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 far, your produce. This will provide a buffer for price modulation for the poultry and feed meals nationwide. A total of 241,656 metric tons was aggregated in 2020 wet season and dry seasons, out of which 217,200 metric tons has been disposed to 18 millers and poultry farmers through Poultry Association of Nigeria. 
The program was able to stabilize poultry and livestock sectors during the pandemic and saved the industry and consumers over 10 billion naira in raw material costs. Our experience over the years has been transformed to operational efficiency of the program. We have added several layers of controls to improve our transparency and accountability among all stakeholders. And what you are witnessing today, Your Excellency, is a demonstration of our growth and a strong indication of the enormous potential in the country's agricultural space. It is important to note that this is still a far cry from desired goals. We still have a long way, long road ahead. However, the growth processes reaffirm our belief in the potential inherent in our agricultural space, and we can hopefully harness them to lead Your Excellency's diversification agenda of this economy. This rice pyramid being launched today, Your Excellency, represents aggregated paddy rice submitted as repayment of loans by Rice Farmers Association's farmers under our 2020 dry season and 2021 season. Beyond this event, it also symbolizes the efforts made by our farmers to commit to loan repayment through produce submission and ultimately ensure the sustainability of this program. To further create value and transfer these grain gains along the value chain, we have mapped millers to uptake these parties and we will track the release of their output to the markets as we strive to manage inflation and grow the rice value chain in our country. Your Excellency, the resuscitation of the Nigerian Commodity Exchange is another strategic initiative to enhance food security drive of our administration. A vibrant commodity exchange will significantly enhance post-harvest handling, reduce wastages, and guarantee effective pricing of pharma for farmers. It will also minimize the adverse effects of the activities of middlemen, commodity hoarders, and ultimately transfer gains from primary production to other nodes of our value chain. This aligns with our resolve to make output as loan repayments under the Ancobra program and produce will drive the operations of the commodity exchange. We have deepened our stakeholders' engagement to increase the arable land under cultivation and improve the productivity per hectare using improved seeds and agronomic practices. We are currently exploring a new rice seeds variety with refund that has potential to deliver over eight tons per hectare. This pilot program should be commenced in 2022 dry season and it has the potential of being the game changer for the rice sector in Nigeria. Your Excellency, sir, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all of the achievements I have highlighted above would not have been possible without the leadership and vision of President Muhammadu Buhari. And Your Excellency, please, he deserves a round of applause. These accomplishments also show that with the right leadership and vision, we can meet and, and we can meet any and every challenge in our country. COVID-19 has shown that we cannot rely on imports and hence we must chart our own path to attaining self-sufficiency in our basic needs as a nation. And this must become a preeminent preoccupation going forward. Your Excellency, in closing, we have other events like the unveiling of maize pyramids by the Maize Association and the unveiling of inaugural rice pyramids in South-South and Southeast zones lined up for the year. We will surely be becoming on Your Excellencies out of your busy schedules, sir, to grace this event. Your Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the management of the Central Bank of Nigeria, on behalf of our hardworking staff in the Development Finance Department of Central Bank, and on behalf of our Nigerian farmers, I thank you all for being part of this event, and may God Almighty that we serve bless Nigeria. Thank you very much, and good morning.